Hello, shalom everyone. Good evening again, my dear brethren. Salamat sa Panginoon. Thank God for this uh, evening again. Salamat sa patuloy niyong paggabay sa atin. Narating na naman natin ang araw na ito. And uh, it is, today is Sunday at uh, ako ang naatasan na mag-lead sa ating Bible study tonight. I praise the Lord because uh, sharing God's word is always a privilege bilang anak niya. And uh, I thank God that uh, medyo hindi maganda yung pakiramdam ko mula kanilang hapon but I know that uh, Satan is trying to hinder again na maglid ako ngayon but hindi siya magtagumpay. Amen! In Jesus' name. And uh, hindi ko hahayaan na gagamitin niya ang masamang pakiramdam na yan para hindi ko ihayag ang kanyang salita. And I thank God na niligo ko, okay na yung pakiramdam ko. Hallelujah! Praise God! So before we start, let us now uh, pause for a moment of prayer. Hallelujah! Purihin ka Panginoon. Good evening, our Father. Good evening, Lord Yeshua Hamase. Good evening, Holy Spirit. Muli Panginoon, kami ay nagpupuri, nagpupugay, nagpapasalamat sa iyo sa gabing ito. Thank you, Lord, for uh, protecting us again for the whole week, for this whole day again, O Lord God, na muli kami ay binigyan mo ng opportunity na makinig muli sa iyong salita sa gabing ito. Salamat, Panginoon, sa lahat ng kalakasan, sa lahat ng provisions, sa lahat ng blessings, as well as trials, O Lord God, na uh, naranasan namin dahil Lord, alam namin, Panginoon, na sa bawat araw at bawat pagsubok sa aming buhay, it strengthens our faith. And I, we thank you, Lord God, hindi lang sa mga blessings, kundi even to, to the trials that we encountered every day, O God. And right now, Lord, we humble ourselves before you. Wala po kaming maitago sa iyo, Panginoon. We ask your Holy Spirit to search us tonight, whatever na nakikita mong kasalanan sa puso namin, sa isip, mga nasabi namin, O Lord God, na hindi ka aya-aya sa iyo, Panginoon. We ask you, Lord, to cleanse us, to forgive us, O God, that we would be worthy, O Lord God, to, to receive your words tonight. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagpapatawad. And I pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to be with us tonight. I pray that you would use my tongue, O Lord God, to proclaim whatever you want us to learn tonight, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Habba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So, our topic for tonight is about a call to persevere. Uh, our text is found in Philippians chapter 4, verses 1 to 9. I will read for all of us. Holy Spirit, bless your holy words. Therefore, my beloved and long for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. Two, I implore Yudea and I implore Sintik to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help this woman who labored with me in the gospel with Clement also and the rest of the fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Verse 5. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all, surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things. 9. The things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. May God bless the reading of his words. So, a call to persevere. And also, our other verse 
is found in Matthew 24:13. Holy Spirit bless your holy word. Sabi niya, He who, but he who endures, or in other uh, translation, he who perseveres to the end shall be saved. Amen. So, talking about perseverance, ano ba ang, sa Tagalog is pagpapagal. Tama po ba? Perseverance. Sa, uh, as, I, uh, as I was studying this, nakita ko na ang, ang pagpapagal ay we really need in every area of our lives. Sa lahat ng bagay sa buhay natin, kailangan natin ang perseverance, pagpapagal. Halimbawa sa ating trabaho, we have to persevere. Kaya tayo nag-persevere because mahal natin ang family natin and we want to uh, earn money to to for our loves for loved ones living yung mga para sa mahal natin sa buhay so sabi niyo dito perseverance is an important quality in many areas of life we can think of the need to persevere in marriage persevere in some course of study di ba kung hindi tayo nag nagpagal at nag-aral ng mabuti nag-persevere sa ating pag-aaral maaring hindi natin natapos ang ating mga course, ang ating mga uh, kinuha na mga course natin sa no college tayo. It is with perseverance na tayo ay nakatapos sa ating pag-aaral. Amen? And persevere, persevere in learning and new skills such as, as musical instrument or in any sport, perseverance is essential. Even in, in, in learning music, halimbawa kung gusto mong mag-aral ng gitara, kung hindi ka mag, without perseverance, hindi ka matututo. Kung hindi ka magjaga, magpagal, para dahil meron kang heart na mag-aral sa mga instrument, pero pag hindi mo pagtyagaan, it nothing will happen. Kahit na mahilig ka, gustong gusto mo, but you don't persevere, then it will end na walang mangyayari. Amen? So, with, when it comes to living as a Christian, perseverance is also an important at, attribute. In order to experience the life in the midst of, the, of trouble, hardship, and sufferings of this world, one character trait must be present. It is perseverance. Without perseverance, you will be frustrated with your circumstances, angry at God, and discouraged about your life. Discouragement, despair, and depression will be a daily battle. We persevere by trusting God in the midst of trials. Nobody has ever accidentally per persevered. It's an active, diligent pursuit of the Lord. Wala po yung... Hindi po yung parang built-in sa buhay natin na mag-persevere. Kailangan i-exercise, gawin natin. Hindi yung, kumbaga hindi po yun yung uh, nakaano na na normal na sa buhay natin. Ito ay kailangan nating pag-aralan, kailangan natin gawin, i-exercise ang perseverance sa buhay natin bilang isang kristyano. As Christians, we are not simply called to put our faith in Christ at a moment in time. We are called to persevere. Amen. It is a major theme throughout the New Testament. It is a quality in our lives that should be developed as we seek to walk in the Christian way of faith. Amen. Hallelujah. The word persevere means to persist or endure. In spite of elements arrayed against you. It came from its Latin roots that means through severity. From the root severe. So in our time today, di ba sa, sa, sa ngayon, uh, lahat nag-automatic na. Di ba mapansin natin sa ating uh, paglalaba noon, Diba, kailangan pa natin ano, gusgusin ng ating kamay, tapos isasampay, and then pag sinampay, itutupi, plantsahin. So, ang daming process. Pero ngayon, ano nang nangyari? Ilagay mo sa washing machine. Tapos, pag ano, i-dryer mo, plantsahin at tupihin mo na lang. Kung sa Amerika pa, ano na, diba, doon, lumabas na sa 
sa washing eh na plancha na, na 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 tupi. So ganun ka ano ngayon, yung ka high tech na hindi ka na hindi ka na ba magpagal, hindi ka na kailangan mag exhort exert ng effort mo para gawin 'yun. Ano pa yung mga automatic ngayon? Gaya ng pagtimpla ng kape noon, maalala ko may may konti kaming uh, mga tanim na mga coffee. So ano, i-harvest mo 'yun tapos i i ipatuyuin tapos i bayuhin ba and then ang daming process. Pero ngayon anong ano na ngayon? 3 in 1. Hindi ka na nga magtimpla-timpla ng asukal, kape, gatas. 3 in 1 na, ilagay mo na lang. Mainit na tubig na lang. Eh, pwede ka nang magkape. Diba? Automatic. Wala nang kapagod-pagod. Ganon din sa ano, sa pagtawag ng, ng sasakyan ngayon, meron na yung on-call na mga taxi. Hindi mo na kailangan maglakad ng malayo kung gusto mo na nandyan na mismo sa pintuan mo. Call. Tawag ka lang. ba diba? Mga karim, grabe, hindi ka na... So, yun bang nawawala yung, yung uh, habit ng pagpapagal dahil sa mga automatic na mga ano na ngayon, high tech ng mga ginagamit natin ngayon, maging sa ano, maging sa pagluto. Di ba kapag tinatamad ka, order ka lang, tawag, call a friend lang dyan sa baba. Tapos, andyan na sa pintuan mo. In, in 30 minutes, nandyan na yung pagkain mo. Hindi mo na kailangan magluto, mag-isa. Kaya, yung bang na-perform yung katamaran, hindi ka na magpagal, hindi ka na mag-persevere, nawawala na. Ang an dami. Pati sa mga sasakyan, automatic na ngayon, hindi na manual na kailangan mo pang, di ba? Ang hirap-hirap yung manual. Ta, ay, yung, yung paa mo, kailangan mo pang tadya-tadyakan yung ano. Pero ngayon, yung kamay mo na lang at Kung ano lang yung pinipindot-pindot. Grabe. So, nawawala. Because of these things, people lost the habit to persevere. Nawawala na yung pagpapagal ng mga tao dahil lahat na is ready to made, ready to instant. Instant noodles. Diba? Mainit na tubig lang. May, makakain ka na. Noodles na. Amen? So, same true with our Christian life. lalo na ngayon na pandemic you don't have to go to to the to church para makinig ng salita ng Panginoon dahil live streaming is there sa YouTube kung gusto mo makinig ng mga salita ng Panginoon andun na i-on mo lang yung yung ano mo yung yung mobile mo makakarinig ka na ng salita ng Panginoon ganun po ka easy ngayon ang uh, dahil sa teknolohiya but All we have to do is to listen. Kumbaga, isubo na lang yung salita ng Panginoon sa atin. All we have to do is to listen, open our, give time, ibigay lang yung time natin, tapos i-apply natin kung ano yung narinig. Yun na lang ang gawin natin, pero minsan hindi pa natin nagagawa, mga kapatid. Amen? Hallelujah. So, ah, uh, We can hear God's word through live streaming and YouTube everywhere and we all we have to do is to listen. In Philippians 3 and 4, Apostle Paul is talking about the return of the Lord Yeshua. Ito na tayo sa ating topic. So uh, Philippians 3, 20-21 sabi niya dito, But our citizenship is in heaven and we eagerly await to a Savior from there. The Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. And in Philippians 4 verse 5, he writes that the Lord is near. Sabi niya dito, he, it means that he The coming of the Lord is very near or certain. And as we wait on Him, we need to persevere. And in Philippians 3.14, Holy Spirit, bless your holy words, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. So, ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon, as we wait, alam natin na darating ang Panginoon. And while waiting, Diba, ang dami-dami nating 
pinagdadaanan na experience sa buhay na ito lalo na sa patapos na ang 2020 and we expect na na magiging lahat every I know that everyone is expecting na ah magiging no sana magiging ano na sa 2021 para makauwi na tayo magiging maayos na at makapag everyone is expecting a better year 2021 pero hindi natin alam and while waiting for the Lord kailangan natin gawin ang part natin bilang isang anak ng Diyos to persevere in obeying Him. Huwag natin na tayo mag-focus na, okay, maganda rin na we expect good things for year 2021, pero walang nakakaalam. Di ba, naririnig na natin sa news na meron na namang it is worse na virus than the, the COVID. But then, huwag tayong maalarma sa mga yun. Yung concentration natin, we focus on our obedience to the Lord kasi kahit naman hindi ka ma, ma, ma virus or what kung anytime nakukunin ka ng Panginoon you can, He can get us anytime at yun yung pinakamahalaga that we persevere every day dahil dahil meron tayong uh, inaantay meron tayong goal sa ating Christian life that's why we are persevering living a life that pleases the Lord because we know We are looking forward to the to the price that God has prepared for us that eternal life na makakaptan natin during the day na mawawala tayo dito or God will get us. Amen or on the judgment day. Amen. So Paul admits that he has not yet been made perfect but that he needs to press on toward the goal. He is determined to persevere as a Christian. Diba? Si, si Apostle Paul, nakita natin how he, he dedicated his life to the ministry. Pero alam niya na kulang pa rin. Kaya sabi niya, it is his prayer na sabi niya to, I press on towards the goal na araw-araw uh, akong uh, nagpapagal para sa gawain ng Panginoon because he know that uh, hindi pa tapos ang labanan. Amen? As long as we are alive here on earth, hindi pa tapos ang pag-persevere pag, pag natin para gawin ang tama para mag-serve sa ating Panginoong buhay. Amen? In chapter 4, he writes that we should stand firm in the Lord, my dear brethren. He wants those whom he loves as fellow Christians to persevere in the faith and to be ready When the Lord returns. Amen. Hindi lang tayo magpagal in the area of our work, in the area of whatever na sa buhay natin, kundi most especially in obeying the Lord. Amen. So to develop the art of perseverance, we need to undergo marami tayong pagdadaanan para ma-develop yung perseverance natin. We need to undergo, number one, tests, trials, and troubles. Amen. Before we can persevere, we need the severe. Anong ibig sabihin? Before we can persevere, we need the severe. Note earlier na sinabi ko na the word, the word persevere, persevere literally means that true severity. This can come in the form of tests, trials, and troubles. One cannot persevere without severe. Di ba hindi ka mag-persevere kung walang trials or walang test, walang troubles sa buhay mo. Kung everything is maayos, everything is uh, okay, di ba you will not learn How to persevere? Hindi ka magchachaga or you will not, you will never, ah, hindi ka matututo na magchaga. Amen. Sabi niya, one cannot persevere without severe, without trials. Hindi ka matuto na magpagal. The faithful Christian will know his share of troubles. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy 3.12, sabi niya, Holy Spirit, bless your holy words, Yeah, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. 
Diba? Uh, I don't know, but as Christians, sabi niya, normal that we encounter persecutions. Sabi nga ng ano na, meron nga nagsabi na kung, kung hindi, when you become a Christian at hindi ka nagsuffer, you, di, you didn't uh, experience persecutions, there is a question in your Christian life. It may be na you are a compromised Christian. Na lahat ng ginagawa ng mga hindi Kristiyano, sumasang-ayon ka kaya hindi ka hindi nila sinasabi na kill joy ka. Hindi nila sinasabi na ano ba yan, lagi ka na lang ano, walang magpersecute sa iyo. It might be because you are uh, yung bang sala sa init kung ano yung ginagawa ng mga hindi Kristiyano, hindi nananampalataya, you are also doing. Kaya maayos, walang magpersecute sa iyo. But once you obey the Lord, you stand in the truth of the word of God, you expect persecution. And that is truly the child of God. Amen? Those persecutions are uh, meant and it is a sign that we are really a child of God because we are standing on the truth of God's word. Na no matter na anong sabihin nila, gaya ngayon, gaya ngayon na hindi tayo nag-celebrate ng Christmas, so many Maraming mag-question yan and even uh, kasam, mga, mga same Christians will question why. And it is the birth of Jesus because we know the truth na hindi po December 25 ang birthday ng ating Panginoong Jesus. It is yung birthday yun ni Tamus, yung the sun god and the world is celebrating. Kaya po kapag It is difficult, really, kasi i-persecute ka. Ano ba yan? Hindi na kayo, ano bang, ano bang reliyon ang napasok mo? So they will persecute us because you are standing on the truth. Nalaman mo ang katotohan at kailangan mong pagtayuan, panindigan at ipamuhay. Amen? And expect persecutions. So I know that when we go to, the, to our country sa, sa Pilipinas, people will persecute us also na, Oh, bakit ayaw mo ang Christmas tree? Ayaw mo ang hindi ka nagse-celebrate, hindi ka man lang ano. So they will throw you a lot of ano, mga salita na you expect na masasaktan ka pero we have to stand on the truth of God's words. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, Paul had his trouble as well in 2 Corinthians 11:24. 28, basahin po natin. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 24 to 28. Holy Spirit, bless your holy words. From the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes minus one. Bakit 40 stripes ang nareceive ni ah, 39 stripes ang nareceive ni ang ginagawa nila ka, dahil pag ginawa nilang 40, mamamatay na ang isang tao. So, si Paul, naranasan niya ang ma, may stripe. Alam, alam natin yan, yung ano ba, yung ma, malatigo. Amen? Three times I was beaten with rods. Grabe. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I have been in the deep. In the journey, often in 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 perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness, often in hunger and thirst, in fasting, often in cold and nakedness. Besides the other things that what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the churches who is weak and I am not weak, who is made to stumble and I do not burn with indignation. Hallelujah. So nakita natin yung, yung, pers, yung mga nangyari kay Apostle Paul. Wait, nawala yung verse natin. So, grabe yung naranasan niya na persecutions. Na beat, he was beaten, he was stoned, he was uh, nalatigo siya. Pero still, nag siya to proclaim the word of God. 
naranasan po ba natin? Hindi nga natin naranasan na, na mabato or minsan salita lang pero nasasaktan na tayo. Pero yung, yung, yung karanasan ni Apostle Paul, hindi natin naranasan. We are free to share the word of God. No one will attack us or stone us pero hindi pa rin natin nagagawa mga kapatid. So, yun. Uh, nakita natin yung perseverance ni Apostle Paul sa kanyang pagbahagi ng salita ng Panginoon. Amen. Hallelujah. So, not all troubles, however, are external. We can place tremendous pressure upon ourselves through worry. Hindi lang sa physical na mga mga sakit ang maranasan natin minsan ang pag-worry is also isang pag, mga trial sa buhay natin setting unrealistic goals for ourselves thinking negatively toward our friends not being thankful not rejoicing in the Lord we need perseverance when we get ourselves into these situations as well And when we persevere through trials, we will go, we will grow as Christians. Amen. Peter said regarding those who suffer trials in 1 Peter 1 verse 7, Holy Spirit bless your holy words. This I have come so that the proven, proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even through refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Amen. Hallelujah. So enduring tests and trials will help us to persevere. Kung wala po tayong maranasan ng mga pagsubok, paano po, natin, paano po tayo matuto na mag-persevere? If everything is under control or everything is going well in our lives, Everything, we are comfortable, nothing is, wala namang problema. Uh, ba? Diba? Kapag everything is good, then we will never learn how to persevere. So, in trials, in troubles, in testings of our faith, we learn how to persevere. Amen. Number two is the truth. Truth gives us reason to persevere. Mag-persevere tayo because of some reasons hindi tayo magpapagal na walang goal, na walang katuturan hindi tayo bilang OFW hindi tayo magpapagal, magtatagal dito na hindi makasama ang ating pamilya, hindi makasama ang ating mga parents para lang magtrabaho dito kung walang dahilan we persevere working for our family for our loved ones dahil kung Masaya na tayo na nakakapagpadala tayo ng ano ng uh, konting halaga para sa kanila. Masaya na tayo na ang ating mga anak ay masaya whenever na naibibigay natin yung gusto nila. We persevere because of reasons. Because of uh, yung may, may goal tayo na mi, na na halimbawa as parents is we want Our children to finish their studies. Kaya we sacrifice to, to work here abroad for them. ba? Diba? Ang pagpapagal ay may dahilan. Ganon din po sa buhay natin bilang isang Kristiyano. Truth gives us the reason to persevere. Ano ba yung truth? It's not enough to persevere if we don't have something to hold on to. Truth is worth pers persevering for. So in order for our perseverance to have value, we must have truth in our lives. Ano ba ang truth? What are the truth that that we should persevere for? We've got to persevere in doing the right thing. Di ba? No, 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 kung noon, hindi natin alam ng katotohanan na ang pakikipagrelasyon pala sa iba without any marriage is mali. Ngayon, we know the truth. We have to stand on the truth na kahit ma masakit na ihiwalay mo si Habibi, masakit na 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 uh, ihiwalayan mo dahil hindi kristyano, dahil sabi niya, do not yoke with unbelievers. But we have to persevere in doing what is right. Amen? Dahil yun ang katotohanan. Minsan, ano pa ba ang mga katotohanan sa salita ng Panginoon? Marami tayong natuklusan na totoo na yung mga belief natin. 
na mga superstitious belief, mga traditions na wala sa Biblia, we have to persevere in doing kung ano yung tama na nandun sa Bible, hindi yung makiayon tayo sa mga makamundo na ginagawa ng mga hindi nananampalataya. Amen? Perseverance in the truth of God's word. God's words, hindi madali ang mamuhay bilang isang anak ng Diyos. Because we are not used to it. We are not used of praying. Kung noon na hindi tayo kustyano, magpray man tayo, pero, pero not that often. Hindi madali yung mag-fasting mag, uh, mag, uh, every Wednesday and Friday. Diba? Ang hirap. Na, buti sana kung merong ano, merong binigay na hangganan pero hindi natin alam kung hanggang saan, kung hanggang sa pagdating ng Panginoon, we will fast every Wednesday and Friday, it is difficult but then we persevere we do it because of our obedience, because we have a goal we want to obey the Lord for the reason that meron siyang price na ibigay sa atin for the reason, the eternal life na yung inaantay, inaasam-asam natin na makamtan natin during the day na mamatay tayo or during the day of judgment. Amen? Hallelujah. So we've got to persevere in doing right in the eyes of God and in the eyes of men. In John chapter 8 verse 31 and 32, Holy Spirit bless your holy words. To the Jews, to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, if you hold on to my teachings, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you hold on to my teachings, you are really my disciples. You are really my children if you hold, if you obey on my words, on my teachings, sabi ng Panginoon. Kaya po, yun nga, gaya ng sinabi ko, marami ang bumibitaw bilang isang anak ng Diyos dahil hindi, hindi madali. It is not easy to become a Christian. Madali na maging isang worldly, na hindi maging isang Kristiyano dahil everything is okay. Everything is acceptable. But when you become a Christian, when you receive the, uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you have to really obey what is in the Bible. And kung ano yung nasa Biblia, contrary sa ginagawa ng mundo at nasanay tayo na gawin ang ginagawa ng mundo and it will be a, a big transition for us to pray, to fast to, to read the Bible you know, ang dami but then we persevere, we do it because of reasons we do it because we love the Lord we do it because we have a goal to win the prize Nasabi nga ni Apostle Paul, let us run the race that mark out for us. Amen. Di, ba, di po ba sa mga athletes, hindi sila mananalo or we, they will just go for a to a competition without any training. Dadaan sila sa katakot-takot na training, exercise, at iba't ibang klase pagpapagal, pagpersevere, dahil meron silang goal to win the prize, to win on that competition. Amen? And so, with us, mga anak ng Diyos, meron tayong prize when we persevere. Not, not only the eternal life, but blessings will flow when we obey, when we persevere to obey and be faithful to the word of God. Amen? So we've got to abide in Christ's words to have truth in our life. By persevering in doing what is right, we can be assured that our perseverance isn't empty. Hindi po sayang ang ating pagpapagal mga anak ng Diyos. In 1 Corinthians 15.58, Holy Spirit bless your holy words. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. It, this is an, gustong gusto ko ang verse na to because it is an encouragement. <coughs> it always reminds us that what we are doing, our perseverance will not go in vain. 
Amen? Merong kahihinatnan, merong uh, ang pagapagal natin ay my reward. Amen? Number, no, so knowing and practicing the truth in our lives and to do, in doing the will of God will aid us in perseverance. Amen. <clears throat> Number three, trust. In order to persevere, we need to trust in the Lord. Trusting in God will get us through difficulties like nothing else and will, and will help us persevere. So Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, Holy Spirit, bless your holy words. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. So, importante po that we will, in perseverance, that we will trust in the Lord. We persevere because we trust in the Word of God na totoo at buhay ang salita ng Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. When we trust in God, we can know our path are directed by Him. Amen. And when we trust in the Lord, our future will be secured. Not only in our future here on earth, but also yung future natin spiritually when we die, meron tayong patutunguhan na napakagandang lugar. Amen. Hallelujah. Because our citizenship is not here on earth. Sandali lang yung buhay natin dito sa mundo. At ang pangalawang buhay, yun na yung eternal. I am now in uh, reading in the book of Revelation. Mata matatapos ko ang Revelation. Mat malapit ng matapos na naman. And I thank the Lord. Uh, at nakita ko yung, yung, yung mga mangyayari ba. And sabi ko, grabe, na doon sa, doon sa hell, the, in the lake of fire, you can hear a lot of yung mga sigaw na gustong gusto dahil sa hirap na dinaranas nila. Gusto ni, they, they want death, but death will no longer uh, hindi na ma, mapapasa kanila. Ganon din po sa atin. Eh, forever na napaghihirap yun. Ganon din po sa atin kung if we persevere, be faithful, and obedient to God, then we will reap the, the eternal life, yung wala ding katapusan na uh, yung bang wala ng hirap, wala ng sakit, wala na, yung bang all you have to do is to rejoice with the Lord in the heavenly realm. Amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, sa, sa, sabi niya din sa Psalms 37 verse 5, Commit thy way <coughs> unto the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring you, bring it to pass. So, commit our way unto the Lord and trust in Him. Importante po yung pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Because we trust His Word, we trust the Lord, kaya po tayo na -e encourage to obey and persevere. Amen? So, trusting in the Lord is a key in developing the art of perseverance. Amen. Number four, perseverance in our relationship with other Christians. Sa so Philippians 4, 2-3, uh, sa ating text, Holy Spirit, bless your holy words. I implore you, Ja, and I implore Sintich to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help this woman who labored with me in the gospel, with, the Cle with Clement also, and the rest of the fellow workers, and whose names are in the book of life. So dito, uh, I believe that working together with other Christians isn't always easy. Diba? Kahit na pareha mong kristyano, pareho mong pananam, mananampalataya, meron pa rin tayong mga minsan mga hindi pagkakaintindihan. We have different personalities, different temperaments, and different backgrounds and experiences. Sometimes we disagree about how things should be done or even what should be done in the church ministry. Sometimes relationship might be strained or even unpleasant. Paul exhorts two women in the Philippian church to agree 
with each other, yung nabasa ko in the Lord. They were both keen Christians and both engaged in the ministry with Apostle Paul. He describes them as fellow workers and yet they have fallen with one with one another over something and were not forgiving each other and getting over it. Paul even asked another church member to help them sort out their differences. So maging sa atin, so hindi po natin sabihin na perfect ang ating mga relasyon with our fellow Christians. May, mga, may kanya-kanya tayong mga weaknesses, mga ugali na minsan hindi mo maintindihan. Di ba minsan, uh, we admit na meron pa rin mga ugali tayo na dapat na baguhin. Kaya minsan yung nag, ano pa rin, uh, sa ating pakikitungo sa ating kapwa kristyano, lumalabas pa rin minsan yung mga ugali natin na ano, hindi refine, hindi magaganda. And so we have, we, hindi maiwasan na magkakaroon tayo ng misunderstanding. Kami, kami ni Pas Glenda, there are times na may mga disagreement kami, but that will be, normal lang yan, dahil we are, we are human. At may mga bagay na, minsan hindi kayo magkaintindihan, pero we don't, hindi namin yun, yung, we don't take it long na hindi pa rin kami magbabati. We always, Uh, we believe that normal lang yung minsan may mga hindi tayo pagkaintindihan sa ating mga leaders or ating mga fellow Christians. But then, uh, importante na pairalin pa rin natin yung pagbabatian, pag, pag, uh, pagpapatawaran, pagmamahal sa bawat isa. Because wala din tayong ibang tatakbuhan kundi ang ating pamilya na mananampalataya. Amen? Hallelujah! Sa mga pagkakataon na kailangan natin ng prayer, sila pa rin ang ating tatakbuhan to pray for us. Kaya meron mang mga misunderstandings, normal lang yan. We go through that and we will learn from it sa mga experiences natin. Amen! Pero huwag nating ilagay dito sa loob. Let, let it go. Forgive and bless. Amen! Meron mang mga hindi gusto ang ugali natin. Wala tayong magawa dahil we cannot please everybody. But then, we have still have to show our love for them, forgiveness, and bless them. Amen. Hallelujah. So, number five, perseverance in living a life with which is pleasing to God. Ito yung isa sa pinakamahalaga. As we wait for Yeshua's return, what sort or kind of life should we be living? Ano bang klase ng buhay ang ipinamumuhay natin habang inaantay natin ang Panginoon? What should occupy our thinking and speaking? Paul tells the Philippians and us also that we should persevere in whatever is true. Yung nabasa ko kanina sa text natin, whatever is admirable, whatever is lovely, think about such things. Yung yung bang kung ano yung mga magaganda na dapat nating buhayin sa ating uh, buhay kristyano, sa ating mga mga, ano uh, naman yung mga uh, good traits yung dapat ang makikita sa atin. Amen? We have to makita yung good testimony bilang isang anak ng Diyos na, oh, ibang klase siya, kamangha-mangha, kahit na kahit na pinagsasalitaan mo siya ng ano, pero he don't fight back. He still uh, declare blessing. He still forgive. Pinapansin ka pa rin. Pero yung meron kang hindi, hindi ginusto sa ano, hindi mo napapansinin, nako, mga kapatid, mag-grow na na tayo sa area na yan. Mga kristyano na tayo. Huwag na nating pairalin yung mga sama ng loob. Mag-2020 is enough. Marami tayong mga naranasan na mga hindi maganda sa 2020. I I ilagay na natin sa limot. Forgive and forget and bless and love one another. Amen? Hallelujah. So, uh, the list of qualities which Paul outlines here are very important. As we persevere in, Christ, in our Christian life, waiting for our Lord Yeshua to return with the help that God gives us by His Holy Spirit, we will be helped to stick to the truth of God's Word, overcome temptations, avoid unpleasant conflict with our Christian brethren, avoid watching TV, 
TV shows, reading books, and, and accessing internet sites which may compromise our faith in the Lord. So, wag tayong iwasan din natin yung mga kapapanood ng kung ano-ano dyan na hindi naman nakakatulong sa ating <coughs> buhay pananampalataya. Amen. Yung mga games, games dyan, maadik sa mga games na instead of spending time na mag-read ng word. Diba, meron yung mga <coughs> kristyano na pero, ala, kapag sa mga games, sa mga kung ano-ano yung mga nasa internet, ala, hanggang, hanggang hating gabi, lalo yung mga kabataan, nako. Amen. So, that is the uh, five <coughs> na importante pag, kung tayo ay pa, kung paano tayo magpapagal. Amen. So, God promise great benefits to those who persevere. Konti na lang. Tatlo lang. So, hindi po basta tayo mag-persevere na walang pangako ang Panginoon na blessing. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me, number one. Your faith is shown to be genuine when we persevere. Sa so, 1 Peter 1, 6-7. 1 Peter, nako, hindi ko nakita to. 1 Peter 1, verse 6 and 7, Holy Spirit, bless your holy words. In, in this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by variety, various trials. 7, that the genuineness of your faith, being much more precious than gold, that perishes Through it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So in all this, you greatly. Ito na pala. So the book of First Peter in the New Testament was written to Christians who were experiencing severe persecutions for their faith. Peter wrote to encourage them in their faith and especially to encourage them to persevere. What Peter is saying is not that their faith itself is of greater worth than gold, but that the testing of their faith is more valuable than gold. When you go through trials of life, it is like gold being tested by fire to reveal all the impurities and melt them away. You put the gold through the fire to see what is genuine and what is not. Maalala ko po, nung, when I was, nung maliit pa ako, hanggang ngayon maliit pa, nung bata pa ako, uh, bumibili kami ng gold noon. Uh, may, yun ang business ng, ng, ng parents ko. At uh, ang gold, Inaano, hinahaluan na yan ng mercury para ma, 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 mabuo. And now, kung gusto mong ma-refine yung gold at maiwan lang yung gold, idaan, magsindi ka ng fire tapos idaan mo, mabigla, mawawala yung mga nakahalo na mga mercury at kung ano-ano pa na hindi gold. So, yun, ma-refine at matitira lang yung pure gold. So, ganun. So, doon na namin titimbangin at babayaran. So, yun. So, kasi kapag hindi nila gamitin ang mercury, di ba maliliit yung gold, maghiwa-hiwalay do, maghiwa-hiwalay. So, para ma maipon at para bago nila ibenta, lagyan ng mercury, tapos kami na yung mag-refine, idaan namin sa apoy, tapos matira yung pure gold. So, ganun po tayo. Trials will refine us. And, ah, uh, sabi niya, our faith is shown to be genuine kapag tayo ay nag-persevere. Doon na makikita yung kung sino yung tunay na kristyano. When trials comes at napagtagumpayan natin, when we, be, when we are being victorious in, in all these trials, doon mo ma, mapatunayan na genuine ang faith natin sa Panginoon. Sometimes the trials of life can feel like you're going through the fire. Amen? That is when we need to remember that we are called to persevere. And one of the benefits of perseverance is that your faith is shown to be genuine. 
Kung tunay yung pananampalataya natin, hindi matitinag ng kahit ano pang pagsubok na darating sa buhay natin. Amen. Number two, perseverance develops character. James 2, James 1 verses 2 to 4, Holy Spirit bless your holy words. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Amen. So another benefit of perseverance is that it develops our character. Nadidevelop po yung character natin at magiging matatag tayo bilang isang anak ng Diyos. We don't rejoice in trials for the sake of trials themselves. Rather, as Christians, we may rejoice in the trials we face because of the results they produce in us. Hindi tayo masaya sa mga trials, kundi magiging masaya tayo, magiging joyful tayo dahil after those trials ay na-develop yung ating pagpapagal, perseverance, patience, at kung ano, ano pang mga weaknesses natin, nagiging strength na natin after all those trials. The testing of your faith develops perseverance and perseverance develops character. Some of the most solid, mature Christians are those who have gone through extreme trials and have persevered. You don't develop character in your comfort zone. You develop character in the trials of life as you persevere and become mature. Amen. Hallelujah. So salamat sa mga trials, Panginoon, because it develops my perseverance, my character to be uh, a, a, the, the child that pleases you, that you want me to be. Amen. And number three and the last, he who perseveres to the end will be Save. Ito yung pinakama ganda sa lahat. Na lahat ng magpapagal hanggang sa huli, hindi bibitaw sa kalagitnaan, hindi bibitaw sa gitna ng mga pagsubok, they will be saved. Yan ang pangako ng Panginoon sa James 1.12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love Him. Amen. So wag po natin isipin na ang pagsubok, ang trials na yan ay dahil pinaparusahan tayo, kundi dahil may purpose ang Lord. And, and when we test, when we are being tested, and we are being done with those trials, and we persevered until the end, then, doon na natin makakamtan yung kaligtasan, doon na natin makakamtan yung eternal life that we've been longing for. Na yun yung dahilan kaya tayo nagpe-persevere, kaya, ta kaya tayo nagpapagal sa buhay na, ng mundong ito na makasalanan. Amen. And then, the benefit of, pers of perseverance is God's promise that He who perseveres to the end will be saved. Jesus is speaking to the end times said because of the increase of wickedness the love of most will grow cold but he who stand firm to the end will be saved makikita natin yan sa Matthew 24 12 to 13 God's pro God promises that when you stand firm and persevere in your faith even under the worst conditions imaginable you will be saved you will be delivered from the fiery trial some Christians have paid the ultimate price of perseverance, even giving up for their lives rather than denying the faith. Amen? We call them martyrs of the church. Yet, even they are ultimately victorious in Christ. Because although this world can kill the body, it cannot kill your soul. All those who persevere, persevere will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love Him. This is a beautiful picture of God's deliverance and salvation even the, in the face of death. He who perseveres to the end will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Purihin ka, Panginoon. 
Di po ba sa ating mga, sa mga mananampalataya noon na mga ma, kinamatay na nila naka, grabe. Pero sabi nga, mamatay man ang katawan na ito, pero my soul, hindi mamamatay ang aking kaluluwa. At ito yung aani ng salvation, ng eternal life na doon na yung pinaka ultimate na reason why we are persevering to be faithful, to be obedient to the Lord our God. Amen. So I pray that we, we have we are encouraged to persevere, to stand firm on our faith, whatever will come again this 2021, maging matatag tayo because at the end, we will reap the harvest, that our labor in the Lord will not be in vain, mga kapatid. Amen? So, uh, for those, may, kung may mga nakinig sa atin na wala pang relasyon sa Panginoon, sinabi nga na even if we do a lot of things na maganda, helping other people, uh, magiging good uh, citizen ka, good uh, isa kang mabait na tao pero without our relationship with Jesus Christ, we can never attain the eternal life. Mapupunta pa rin tayo sa impyerno. So sayang yung pagkamabait natin, sayang yung pagkamabuti nating tao, sayang yung mga uh, pag, pagsisimba-simba natin kung wala tayong relasyon sa Panginoon. So I am challenging everyone who listen na nakinig sa salita ng Panginoon sa gabing ito that we need to receive the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya as our Lord and Savior to para makamit natin ang buhay na walang hanggan na pinangako niya sa bawat tatanggap sa Kanya. So I can lead you in a prayer and you can follow after me. Amen. Bago tayo pupunta sa conclusion. Amen. So, to those who want to receive Jesus as our their Lord and Savior, you can follow after me. Oh Lord Jesus, we praise you. We thank you for your words tonight. Thank you, Lord, for your promise of eternal life for those who will who who have relationship with you. Salamat Panginoon sa salita mo na aking nakinig, narinig sa gabing ito, sa oras na ito, hinihiling ko po ang iyong kapatawaran sa lahat ng aking mga kasalanan mula pa pagkabata hanggang sa oras na ito. Patawarin mo ako na hindi ko ipinamuhay ang iyong salita dahil ang alam ko po Panginoon ay ang pagiging mabuting tao ay maliligtas na ako. Pero ngayon at nalaman ko ang katotohanan ay pinubuksan ko ang pintuan ng aking puso at tinatanggap kita bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Isu uh, ikaw na po, Panginoon, ang maghari sa puso ko. Ikaw na po ang masunod sa buhay ko. At isulat mo ang aking pangalan sa aklat ng buhay upang sa pagdating mo, Panginoon, ay makasama kita sa iyong kaharian. Salamat sa buhay na walang hanggan na pinangako mo sa mga tatanggap at uh, mananampalataya sa iyo, Panginoon. Ito ang aking dalangin sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. So for those who receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, welcome to the family of God. As He had promised, gaya nga ng sinabi niya, so John 1.12, to those who receive Him, to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. At kung may relasyon na tayo sa Panginoon, pwede po na tayo magpagal, mag-obey sa Kanya, and then we will be reaping the harvest of eternal life in the day of judgment. So, conclusion na po tayo. So, as Christians, we are called to persevere. We are in this for the long haul. That doesn't mean you are going to be perfect. You will stumble and fall along the way. We all do. It does not mean it does mean that when you fall down, you will get back up again and keep going. When you commi commit to Christ, it is a lifetime commitment. Regardless of whatever trials or persecutions you may f you may face along the way as a Christian, you are called to set your face towards the goal and never 
look back. True Christians will persevere to the end of their lives or until the Lord Yeshua returns or wherever comes first. May God help us to persevere as Christians as we support and encourage one another in the faith through prayer, study of the, the word, and expression of sacrificial love towards one another. Amen. Shalom everyone and uh, let us all pray our closing prayer as we listen to our response song by Gla Sister Gladys and Sister Kathy. Hallelujah. Let us all pray. Hallelujah. Purihin ka Panginoon. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Salamat Panginoon for the encouragement O Lord. Tunay nga Panginoon na minsan we are easily discouraged by all the trials, all what is happening in this earth and in our lives. Pero salamat pa rin, Panginoon, dahil we are holding on to your promise, to your words, O Lord God, because we believe that what you promise you will fulfill. Thank you, Lord, for being with us always, not uh, forsaking us in spite of our sins, Panginoon, in spite that we are so stubborn, Matitigas ang ulo namin pero salamat pa rin Panginoon dahil handang-handa mo handang, handam kami laging tanggapin at patawarin sa aming mga pagkukulang sa iyo. And thank you for your encouragement. Thank you O Lord God for uplifting our souls tonight O Lord God through your holy words. And I pray O God and I declare blessing upon blessing sa lahat ng nakinig O Panginoon. Lahat ng may sakit will receive healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lahat ng nangailangan ng trabaho will receive it. The soon as possible in the mighty name of Yeshua at lahat O Lord God ng mga may problema may sakit they will receive healing in the mighty name of Yeshua salamat Panginoon we bless your holy words and we we pray that you would continue to encourage us and help us to be faithful until the end in the mighty name of Yeshua we pray amen amen and amen hallelujah good evening everyone God bless